Okay then, in this video we will discuss map events, in particular geolocation events. So from the previous videos you already know that map events are a signal that tells you that something has happened or occurred. And you can attach one or more functions that fire up when that event happens. So in this video let's have a look into geolocation events. So let's go, first of all, let's go to the official documentation of the leaflet. And then in here, on the map, we have events. So basically, we have many events in here, like layer events, many types of events. So these are layer events, like whenever base layer change. So that means if you um, attach this base layer change event to your leaflet, object that means this will be fired up when the base layer changes or we have overlay add and then we have another leaflet uh, event category called state change events like zoom level change to, uh, to adding or removing a layer resize etc then we have pop-up events we have tooltip events we have location events and then we have interaction events like click, double click. So then we have other events. So let's discuss this one, location events. So as you may know, these events, location events, are associated with geolocation of the user. So for instance, um, there are two events in here. So the first one is location error. And this event is fired when the leaflet application couldn't find the geolocation of the user or device. And then we have another one called location found. And this one is fired when the leaflet application has found the geolocation of the user or device. Okay? But since these are location events, we first need to um, call the method that attempts to find the geolocation of the user because in our application in here our application right now is not uh, doesn't uh, isn't uh, attempting to find the geolocation of the user so we need to first of all call the method that attempts or tries to find the geolocation of the user and then we can attach these two events to our leaflet map object. So I will demonstrate everything step by step. So first of all, let's. Um, I would like to show you that um, method that tries to find the geolocation of the user. So for that, we need to scroll further down. So we have methods section in here. So these are methods, leaflet methods. Um, so methods of the central leaflet uh, class. So methods for modifying map state, we should go down. So we have then geolocation methods. And here we have two geolocation methods. The first one is locate and that one uh, attempts to find the geolocation of the user. And we have the, another one called stop locate. So that means it stops watching um, for the geolocation. So let's call this method and we have here options. So let's click on that because I would like to show you some of the geolocation options which we will be passing to our uh, geolocation method. So in here we have locate options. So like watch, set view, max, zoom, etc. So we'll be using set view. This one is used if you would like to set the view up on the, up on the, when, whenever there is a, um, you know, geolocation found it will set the view to the appropriate one and then max zoom is just the maximum zoom um, that's allowed to to zoom in um, when when there is a geolocation uh, is found so let's do this one in practice so let's go to our code and in here first of all what we need to do is we can get rid of this one zoom event uh, from the previous tutorial so then we can also delete this one click I don't need that either so now 
right after this marker. So what I will do is I will say, um, first of all, we need to call our function. So my map dot locate, and then we'll pass two options to this method. The first one would be set view, and this one will be set to true. By default, this one is false, I think. So then max zoom to from 0 to 19. So let's make it 18. So now our leaflet application tries to find the geolocation of the user. So I'll show you. So if we go there, so now it says know your location. So our application wants to know my, my location. That's fine. Let's allow it. And it's just zoom it in too much, I think. I'll just turn off this purse image. So it's basically finding the geolocation and it's changing the view, but it's not showing it or it's not showing the geolocation by, uh, by using uh, a marker, right? So it's just showing us that it's in here, that I'm in here right now in this area, but it's not showing exactly where, am, uh, where I am right now. So for that, let's demonstrate this one a little farther. So, because it's just, right now, it's not doing much. It's just calling the locate method and that's it, right? Because what we want to demonstrate in this tutorial is location found and location error. So, now let's demonstrate first of all location found. So, I'll say my map on, then location found. So, when it finds the location, Let's fire the function call it location found, which I don't have yet. So, because I don't have this function in here. Previously, I was writing it directly in here. I mean, the function was in here. So, but right now, I don't want to mess up this location found uh, event. That's why I'm separating the function. And I will just write a function in here, call it on location found. So when, when it finds a location for now, just print out the event. Okay. So, and from here, I'll just write geolocation. Um, okay. API. So then again, so I, 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 I will turn this off. So if I just go to inspect and then we can see object and in here we have accuracy that's accuracy in meters so and then we have latitude and longitude we have latitude and separate longitude we also have under one property call it lat lng so we have lat and longitude so we have latitude and longitude that's that's a that's a geolocation information and this one is is basically saying, hey, you are within 955 meters uh, from this geolocation. Uh, so let's demonstrate this one with a marker because with a marker, it's going to be very obvious. So first of all, what, what, what we're going to do is we're going to do two things in here. So the first is we're going to we're going to create a marker, but we're going to also create a radius. Um, so we just show that, hey, you are within this radius. Okay. So, and radius will be, of course, our accuracy. So let's do the radius first. So I'll just say radius. So then E dot accuracy. And then, so for now, this one is enough. So now if I just show you the radius. Oops, console log radius. So it's going to just print out the radius, all right? But also, I don't like these so many decimal points in here. We can say, hey, we want just two decimal points, and there is a JavaScript function, call it to fix it. So we'll just say dot to fix it, and then just two. So that means it's going to show just two decimal points. So this one would be much better. And now, 
from previous tutorials you already know how to create a marker so we'll just say hey a location marker and we say l dot marker and then previously e dot lat lng so because we're, we need to pass to this class we need to pass latitude and longitude and following that we need to add it to my map so and then I would like to bind pop-up so in other words I'll just want to see a pop-up on top of this marker so that's why I'll say bind pop-up and then you can write whatever you like so we'll just say you are within and then obviously it's gonna be radius because as I said before it's gonna be you are within this radius and then we'll say meters from this point so radius will be accuracy and then these are just these two are just strings and then if we want to open that pop-up we can say dot open pop-up so this will open up the pop-up upon the launch of the application upon the upon finding the uh, geolocation and uh, this would be our location marker but let's also make a circle so it's gonna be more visible when we make a circle based on the you know geolocation and the and the radius so uh, you will see this one in a second well, um, I mean what uh, you will see what I mean circle so L dot circle and then E dot let LNG radius add to my my map so that's it so what we're doing here is whenever there is a location found event it fires up this function and we have this function in a separate uh, so we have function in up in here not directly in the uh, in the location next to the location found event so first of all we're getting the radius because we are using it in in here so first of all we're using it in location marker and the second one would be location circle so now we should see our location marker and location circle but before that let's turn off our uh, image overlay so and that would be that would be our where is our image overlay that's one this one so image overlay add to my map so we don't want to add this one to our map so because it's post base image and this one boundary okay that's fine so now let's go to our application and as you can see this one is a marker and beneath the one in here we have a circle so circle is based on our geolocation and radius so I can demonstrate this one in here as well I mean how to init initialize circle so if you would like to initialize circle you can pass on you know latitude and longitude and then radius and then you can add it to your map so that's how I achieved this circle so now we have a marker and then we also have a circle so it's basically telling me that I'm 955 meters away from this point somewhere in here so that's all about location found so let's do the other one which is which is location error so for that we'll just do the same I'll just copy this but instead of location found I'll say location error right like this so then instead of on location found I'll say on location error whenever there is an error this function which I will create right now will be fired up so function this so and then for now it's just gonna be I'll just pass in this event that's enough 
console log e. So now let's demonstrate what happens whenever there is an error. So to demonstrate this, I will turn off or block the access to uh, geolocation feature in my browser. So and then I will just refresh it. So now it's just printing out an error or event and in that event we have a property called message and that message says hey geolocation error user denied geolocation and that's what we can display if there is a problem with finding the geolocation so we can say window dot alert e dot message and it's gonna pop up if there is a if there is any problem with finding the geolocation so as you can see, it says, hey, user denied geolocation. So, and if we, if we don't want that, we should allow it. And now it's finding the geolocation. So, that's all about geolocation and about events in Leaflet. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video.